I, uh, I lived out on the lake. My brother told me it'd be impressive if I lived on the lake, and I lived out there by him and, until I decided I want to impress me. Nobody knew I was out there. And uh, I moved off the lake and moved on to a farm. But while I was on the lake, I planted some uh, hybrid tea roses. And I'd never done it before, and they told me at this garden center how to do it, and I put cotton seed meal and everything and grew these roses. And they were that big around, huge roses. The petals were maybe an eighth of an inch thick on this big Oklahoma. And then when I moved to the farm, I didn't take them with me. <clears throat> and uh, it was a day about like today of winter time. And I was putting up cedar paneling in this little writing room where I was writing. And uh, I was working on a song called The Wonders You Perform. And thinking if I ever got it written, I had no earthly idea what I'd ever do with it because it was kind of a inspirational song. And uh, But I got to thinking about those roses. And uh, the first year they did great, and the second year the, they'd get great big buds on them and just fall off. And what it was, we had a wet spring, and I called the man, and I said, what's wrong with these roses? And he said, this is just not a good year for roses, Jerry. He said, it's too, the spring is too wet. And so, I don't know, I just planted that in my mind, and I got my mind wondering one morning when I was writing and I was thinking about those roses, and I thought, it wasn't a good year for roses. What if it had been a good year for roses and, and everything else that went to pot, you know? What if a man's wife was leaving and the baby crying and all this, but the roses just blooming like crazy? And... Uh, so I wrote it, and that, that's really what Bobby Bayer later on said, I love that song George has got out, but what's the rose he's got to do with it? And then Elvis Costello came out with a good year for the roses. <laughs> and I said, another Elvis imitator, that's all we need. I didn't have no earthly idea who he was. And then when the first performance checks came in from the British Isles, alone at $60,000, and I said, punk rock, that may be what I am. <laughs> 